we making? Well, we're gonna make your favorite dessert. Mm. Lemon tart. Yes. Oh, I love these. These are great for any time you're in a pinch. All you have to do is care, keep uh, Pillsbury dough, the, the pie crust, in the refrigerator or in the freezer. You can even keep it in the freezer and then pull it out. That way, anytime somebody comes, you can have something really quick to make. All this stuff you basically can have on hand. Lemon curd, raspberries. You can put any berry, but you like raspberries. And then we put a little mint leaf on, just to make them look all pretty. Okay. So you thaw the dough out according to the package direction. And all the packages are different times, but you want it so it doesn't crumble. So it's real hard to get started. Put a little bit of flour and then do that. It's kind of like finger painting with flour. That makes it, even though this is supposed to be nonstick, the flour helps. This is the cheater way. You could make pie dough from scratch if you're one of those crafty people that comes out perfect. See how it's just bigger? Right. Than the, uh, yeah. Than, yeah, than the hole. You're going to want to cut a, these as close as possible, as many as you can get, but you need them to be whole all the way to the edge. That's why I'm saying you want to use as much. And then you put your hand flat down on the top so it all, and you'll have to dip it in flour. Each time? Usually. A little tip is that pie dough really is crap if you re-roll it. So you get one roll. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say we could just. Oh, yeah. Roll. We could just re roll and keep that. Would that be great for cookies? If you did that to this, you would have um, spare tire tarts. They would be so tough, you would not like them. I like the ruffle edge, it makes them prettier. Not a lot of people could make good pie dough. My grandma could. She put beer in her pie dough. Oh. Uh, you can do and that. cold lard. She kept it in the freezer. Because that's what you have to do. It can't melt when you make pastry. The, the fat can't melt, whether it be butter or oil. Well, oil is melted. That's a different kind of crust. That's what the British use for those nasty meat pie things. Meat pie. I've never oh. had one. Oh, they make them real tall. They're, I don't know. It just, it just doesn't look good enough to me. It's like all packed full of this meat. And they, uh, I wasn't impressed. Now... We have to put these in these little shelves. So you put it down and you very gently, and but, and I do mean gently because you don't want to tear it, you fit it in there and see how it fits? Mm -hmm. So you start on that end because we have more pie dough to make. So uh, I even have a stamper you can put in here that'll put the tarts down. But I wanted you to do it with your hands. A tart way. stamper. A tart stamper. Now we'll do the same thing that we did. We'll do it on number two. Do you think we'll ever be as famous as Bert and Ernie? Um, probably even famouser. Even famouser, huh? Yeah, and that's a new word. You'll be Cookie Monster. Tart Monster. Tart Monster. <laughs> Have you seen uh, Alice in Wonderland, the Red Queen? Oh, the Queen. Give me who had my tarts. Oh, you know, didn't like the a, yeah. Goofy. Didn't the frog eat her tarts <laughs> and, and had the stuff down his chin? Yeah, that's like a meme. Oh, that was a yeah. meme at one point. That's so funny. Who ate my tarts? Who ate my tarts? So these don't puff up and misshape. You have to prick along the sides. Mm -hmm. So I do three and then twice along the bottom. Now, if that tamper had something that after you tamped, you could push a button and it went and it pricked it for you. Mm -hmm. How perfect would that be? So we have to come up with a name for our pricky uh, uh, tart tamper. <laughs> that, it, like, as seen on TV, pricky tamp, tart tamper. That's a tongue twister. We'd have to come up with something different. Nobody could say it. I think it would just become like another ga useless gadget that people have like a thousand of in their house, you know? I have a thousand useless yeah, gadgets. Yeah, no, it's just like, what's the point of this? They all have a point. Yeah, but it's like, do I really do that every yeah, day? Yeah, well, if you're only making one of something, no, you don't need it. But if you're making, you know, hundreds of tarts, wouldn't it be nice to have a pricky tart tamper? I always wanted a cheese cutter. Just... Only for cutting cheese? I mean, I don't know. 
I have no problem. Uh, uh, asparagus peelers, they just cut asparagus. My pineapple core only cuts pineapple. But how many mango, times do you eat asparagus? Every time I do, I can use my asparagus peeler. My mango cutter, apple slicer, an orange peeler segmenter. Wouldn't it be fair if you just got every just I would love a single gadget for everything and then you know how they have those like carry on uh, sex in the city had the rotating shoe closet I'd love to have a rotating gadget closet <laughs> and I could just say like have Lucy with her Lessa Lessa I need my asparagus peeler and it would whip around and give me my asparagus peeler how perfect would that be that would be crazy amazing that would be a dream kitchen Oh, I'd probably never come out of it. Okay, it looks like they're all stamped. Now we got to take it to the uh, oven. We just got done taking these out. A, four, a preheated 450 oven for six minutes because you want them not to be burnt, but you want them to be cooked. Lemon curd. Grab it with the spoon. Use the other spoon. Could you use a piping bag? Yes, that's what I normally use is a piping bag and squirt it in. But it's also fun to do this. Although you can use a zippy and just cut the corner. And then we stick a raspberry on. Look at that. Then you put a really pretty little mint leaf in the side. Isn't that just adorable? Don't you just want to eat it? They're so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? Now you have to taste one, see if they're good. See if yours are as good as Grammy's. Bite size, I see. Even better. Even better, yeah. <laughs> Man, they're really good, but I think it's, food's always better when it comes. Oh yeah, when it's fresh. Thank you, Grammy. You're welcome. Now you can make your own tarts. Okay. <laughs> tarts are your favorite. You also like turnovers. So you want to learn how to make turnovers too. Yeah. Let's start with your your good old crack an egg. This is going to become an egg wash. So one egg and about four spoonfuls, teaspoons of water. Just like we did with the other, a little finger paint and smooth it out. They got these really cool puff pastry and they come in squares, so you don't have to cut them like the others. We've preheated the oven to 400 for puff pastry. We're using, these are these silicone mats. Mm -hmm. I love them, because you can put them on crappy pans and it doesn't matter. Use your muscles. Pop goes the weasel. You take about what would be the equivalent of two tablespoons. You can use jam. You can even put your lemon curd in here and you wanna put it kind of in the center. We have water. You take your finger, you dip it in, and you have to wet the corner, the, this corner here. Then where you had it wet, wet it, you fold it over and make a pretty little triangle. Look at this, look at what I did. I just kind of pushed it down with my fingertips. You're only touching the edges. You don't wanna to touch this pocket in the middle. You'll end up with splooge. I got this from my Nana. That's how old this thing is. It's probably 75 years old. This side will cut. Okay. See, it's sharp, plastic sharp. Then you roll down and look, it seals the edges of your pastry. Perfect little triangle. And we go through and we do that to all the squares. They come in like a 10 pack. Yep. You need a, a, at least an inch, if not a couple inches in between, because these puff up, these get real puffy. Hence, puff, puff pastry. pastry. These are fun to make. Yeah, and, and it's another thing that you can just keep on hand. It's even more fun when you have someone to help, because then you can whip them out even faster. Because I found that y'all eat these faster than I can make them. Where'd you learn to make these? Uh, where everybody else learns to make them. The internet? The internet. I bet we could do surgeries watching the internet. Kids can do this. They can come home and make themselves a snack. If, if they can turn an oven on, if mom lets them turn an oven on, they can make these. Why are they triangles? 
Why is bread the shape of a bread loaf? Why is well, I don't know, meat like, loaf the shape of bread loaf? Why is a hamburger patty round? Why? I mean, I guess because whoever made them decided this was the shape. Now, empanadas, Mexican empanadas aren't in triangles. They're in crescents or half circles. Are they the same concept? Uh, totally different dough. Same concept. After we have our turnovers all turned over, now we get to paint them. So I get it in here and then you egg wash over the top. This is gonna give it a really nice finish, but here's what else it does, what? It holds the sugar, because everyone knows you want sugar on your turnovers. We're gonna put these in the oven. These bake at a 400 degree oven for about 18 minutes. So we bake these for 18 minutes at 400. Now, if you look, some of these, see, look, this one's got a hole. That's because it didn't get fill, it didn't get sealed properly and then the filling will ooze out. That's just because it, it, it didn't have a good enough seal between the two layers of uh, dough. It happens, they still taste good. Then what I like to do is take some powdered sugar and I put it in here and then it's like snow. Look at how pretty that is. And you do it on here because otherwise it makes a mess everywhere you do it. Now we can plate it. These should be cool enough, see, that if you grab them by their tips, you can put them on the plate. And there you have it. Blackberry turnovers here are the raspberry tarts. Yum, yum, yum. They might be hot. You can try one. Take a bite. You eat. How do you eat it? Bite it. Start Just at a corner. Anymore? Well, I would start at a corner. See how it puffs? Mmm. Look at that. That's what puff pastry does. It flakes all the, and it's a real pain to make. That's why I buy it. It's really um, flaky and the crust is really good. Oh, I love it. Man, these are way good, like amazing. I've never had them straight out of the oven. They're just- Oh yeah, that's what, they're not cold and they're, they're perfect. Right, thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Now you've got your hooked with dessert. Which do you like more? Well, I'm sure a plate full of tarts, but if you could only pick one, Malachi, <laughs> one little tart or one turnover, which are you gonna go for? Wait, I mean, all this stuff you basically can have on hand. Yeah, yeah. Lemon curd. Oh. That's not... What? How gently are you doing it? Because you're like, shh. Well, I am doing it gently. Just because I do that doesn't mean I'm ramming my finger like, through it. I've only done one because I'm like, e. Well, how many of tarts have you made? Let me think. Uh, um, zero. Okay, and how many times has Malachi said, Grammy, can you make me tarts for my birthday? Grammy, can you make tarts for Christmas? Grammy, can you make tarts? When's the first time he made tarts? <laughs> and then every year. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Dust off your hand. Do you see that? Huh? Now, now look at us. Now our hands are the same. Yeah. And then you know, have you seen Sweeney Todd? Can't, can't. It's hard to eat a meat pie after that. Mm -hmm.